Hi everyone. Um, here we are for another day for Vlogtober. It's Saturday, October 27th while I'm taping this and I'm going to probably get this up and posted for you guys sometime tomorrow morning and Sunday morning. So I've just finished taping my podcast. I will probably get going with get something together for lunch. I might get that on video for you guys. So We'll see what see what we're doing in the kitchen. I also plan on spending the afternoon getting the editing done on the podcast, get that exported and up onto YouTube sometime later on today. And then in between that, I plan on spending some time working on my texture time shawl. So um, I also have an online course that I'm on an online course training kind of thing that I'm wanting to spend a bit of time on this afternoon. I hope I can finish up that course um, this weekend so I can get that done and have one more kind of um, online teaching certification uh, finished up and added on to my list of activities for what I've done this past year at work. So anyways, I'm going to sign off for a bit. I'm going to go and see what I can forage up in the kitchen for lunch, see what John wants, what we think sounds like something good to eat for lunch, and um, I'll be back sometime later this afternoon. Catch you later. Bye. for a few minutes and it wasn't even taping. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anyway, um, I th actually I think I should put this on to the um, selfie stick so it seems to be a little, I don't know, a little bit shaky and wonky. Anyway, hang on a second. I'll be right back. Actually, maybe I'll just see if I can film myself sticking. Hmm. I probably can't do it if I can't even find the stick. <laughs> Hi. I'm blocking part of the camera. Blocking oh, yeah. all of the camera. Okay, let's try this again. Hi, hello everyone. And we're here getting close to, well, so getting later in the day here, it's about six o'clock. We've finished finished supper. John's gone off. Jeepers creepers. Let's see if I can not make you guys completely seasick. Um, 
John's gone up for the evening. He's got um, a thing at they're doing a bonfire at the church tonight, but it's been cool and rainy all day, and it's quit raining now and drying up a bit, but it's still cool, and I just don't have the gumption to go out to that tonight. So hopefully he gets a few other people there so he's not just sitting there by himself and by a bonfire at church this evening. But anyway, I'm just, I'm just, I'm tired. So I just really didn't feel like heading out this evening. So anyways, so after I filmed my my podcast earlier today. I spent a while this afternoon getting the editing done. Then while it started doing the exporting, which it's still doing now, uh, once once I got the editing going, we hopped in the car and we decided we're going to go and check out, um, check out the Goodwill and a nearby thrift store. We decided we didn't bother cooking for lunch. We just wandered out just down the street to uh, a nearby restaurant and we just had lunch there so I have, I have a little video clip that I've included a little bit earlier that um, shows shows our meals mine is an order of it's called the Waynesburger fries they they're french fries they have this special sauce that they make at this uh, burger joint that's um, kind of like a thousand island type of dressing a little bit tangier taste, um, not as much of the little uh, relish kind of bits that you'd find in Thousand Island dressing, but anyway, similar to that type of thing, and it has feta cheese on top of it, and they're, it's really tasty. So I had that for lunch, John had uh, pastrami sandwich and fries. Um, so then I came, we came back home, I did some editing on the video and got that going, and then we hightailed it out to, um, out to the Goodwill store. The, the Goodwill store closest to our house is, it's quite a small store. They've got their, the biggest section is the, the clothing, but they don't really have a, a lot of other stuff in there. So it's often it's hit and miss whether, whether you're actually going to find anything that, that you're interested in, or at least that I'm interested in there. But this time I did luck out. There were, I think, five or six um kind of like sampler packs type of thing of uh l different kinds of lace so what i'll do is um once i finished yakking with you i'll either add that video clip into the middle here or i'll add it on a, on the end i'll i'll figure that out once once i get back to editing editing this footage a bit later on tonight so we spent a bit of time there, looked around at some stuff there, went, um, did a little bit of shopping after that, and we came home and we wanted to stop at the, the second little thrift store that's right behind our house, and we forgot, I thought it was open till 5, but it's only open till 4 o'clock on Saturdays. So we pulled up, looked at our watches, 4.09, so I was just like, ah, rats, just missed it. So anyways, I had a little bit of footage that I filmed when we were in Goodwill. I will add a little bit of footage in of the, the lace samples that I bought. And then I think this evening I'm just going to spend some time. I'll catch up on a few TV shows that I've missed in the last few weeks. And I'll get some knitting done on my Texture Time shawl. And I really think I'm going to be hitting the sack early tonight. Um, I was up late last night working on my... Um, so I slouch hat, so I was up a lot later than I normally am, and didn't set the alarm, thought I'm going to sleep in this morning, woke up 10 past 6. So I laid there till about 6.30 and then decided I guess I'm not falling back asleep, so I just figured it. So I just got up out, out of bed anyway, and so I'm, I'm getting tired, I'm, I think I'm aiming for aiming for hitting the sack pretty early tonight so get a good night's sleep so anyway i think i'll sign off for now i will add in a little bit of footage of the all the lace pieces that i i picked up at the goodwill store this afternoon and i'll chat with you guys later bye now so the first piece of lace is on a, a large plastic tube. Um, 
I really think these came from a fabric store. Um, it was two dollars at the Goodwill store, and it's just it's a whole lot of actually quite a lot of lace, and it's a nice, fairly simple little design, um, kind of a little bit of a flared, uh, ruffly lace, but it's all the same the same design on here so that that's probably this is probably about a half a mile of of lace on this so there's all kinds of things I suspect I can use this for in different art journal things um, maybe as part of uh, doing some yeah it's better with the light uh, maybe with making some junk journals that's something that I've been interested in in trying out so this is the first one I got I also got this one, it says, on here it says 36 yards, I'm not sure if that's how much is actually still on there, uh, $2 and it's on a, a cardboard thing. It had, a, oops, again, the price tags from original, it's, a lot of it is pinned in, some of it's coming loose and getting a little bit disheveled, but there's, three or four different kinds of lace on here. So the first one is, let's turn it this way, is this this kind of panel. That's a pretty, pretty lace. This one I think is, no, it's not the same. It's similar, similar to the first one, but not, not quite exactly the same. So it looks like there's only a couple wraps of this one. Oh, this this one's different too. This just looks like mesh. This there's a couple wraps of of this lace. Then there is several wraps of this particular. This is like a heavier, thicker feeling feeling lace. Um, maybe I should have a piece of white paper under here. Huh. Um, I'm thinking while I'm thinking it, thinking out loud as I'm doing this. So this is another panel of lace. This is quite pretty. This I think is the same. And again there's several several rolls of or wraps around of this one. And this is just a nice plain my camera sliding around. So this is just a nice, delicate, plain lace. It has the eyelid. It looks like it could be folded over on, on something. Um, but that's the the second, second batch. So another two dollars. Here is another. I think this one only has three, on here. This is on like a, a hard plastic. Oh, what do we have on this side? This is all the, the labeling on it. And some of this looks quite old, actually. Quite vintage itself. Um, so again, there's three different types of lace on here. This one's similar to the other one. This is really, really quite pretty. You can see the design there. And this is just a plain <clears throat> fabric. This is more of a, a heavier fabric one. It's several several wraps of that on here. So that's another pretty one. This is quite a wide piece here. So you can see it's... But again, that's very pretty. Very, very pretty, I think. So there's several, several wraps of this one also. So it's, it's a fair, fairly decent amount of lace there. The next one there's six or seven different kinds of lace on here. Um, some of them is not as as um, as much. This is one that's a little bit more of the 
uh, fabric-y, cotton feeling one. But this is a nice one for, you could run a ribbon through there. I think that would be really, really pretty. Some of these have the look of um, wedding garter bands, actually. Some of these lace, lace panels do. This is quite a, a thin, delicate one. I don't want to go too far this way. There's a, a safe or um, a stick pin in there. That's quite pretty. It has a little little floral design in there. This one, again another pretty pretty one. This one's similar to the previous one. This one is oops. There's one underneath it. Again, another. This one's really pretty. It has, I uh, don't know if it's, the camera might not be picking it up, but this has uh, a, a sparkle to it. Um, there's like a coppery colored thread running through this one. This, is, this one's really, really quite pretty. This one is, I think, very similar to one of the ones above, but again, it's a fairly simple simple design and then this one just the little little flower bottom, uh, blossoms these just a lot of these really have the look of um, lace that you would see in um, in garters um, and in wedding dresses and decorative decorative finishes so it's another sheet again this one was also two dollars each of these were two dollars uh, another one. This one looks like it's been a little bit roughed up a bit. But it's a pretty little stretch of lace. This one looks like it's all the same through here. Again, that's quite pretty. I think I'll turn them this way to show this one. That's a nice little crochet look edging on it. So some of these are going to be really pretty for using in uh, in junk journals and um, other art projects. The next one, there's a little fluff in it. This is a piece of um, an ivory colored. Most of these up to now have been a white or a very pale cream color. This is a nice, um, a nice ivory color. It's another fairly plain. Well, and this one's got a lot of little frayed edges on it as well, but it's just a plain, delicate little one. And then I'll flip this around. We get a better look at this one. So again, they're they're all quite quite pretty. I think I'm going to have to tack them all down a little bit better. Some of them have started to come apart. And the last one are all pieces of uh, the lace is black. So it might be a little bit more challenging to, to see what, what is here. I might have this upside down. This might be easier to look at it this way. So here's here's this one. That one's quite quite pretty. Nice delicate uh, floral pattern on on the lace. Here's another nice, nice delicate, delicate one. Uh, it looks like it's the same. That one's very. Oops! <laughs> My camera's sliding all over the place. Oh goodness! I'm sorry about that. This is another really pretty, pretty delicate lace uh, design here. I think I might have to refilm this because I'm 
I'm almost getting seasick just looking at this on here. And this I can't actually get to this last one here very easily because there's a, quite a few that are layered on top of it. Um, here we go. So it's a, it has a, a center panel on here. I'm not sure if it's designed to be folded, um, but that's a very pretty one as well. So those were, and again, each of these were $2. So I had one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, seven of them. So $14. Um, I got a lot of pretty, pretty bits of lace. Um, and I plan on using it in quite a few different art projects um, down the road. So I'll catch you guys later. Bye.